Kane said he don't trust him. <laughs> he was calling us and he was going to do it. He is the same guy in the world. All right, praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we um, have a little discussion here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't really know what the discussion is going to be about right now. Uh, I kind of really wanted to talk about demon possession, but uh, I, got, I got some other brothers here, and I think they said something about fraud. somebody just hollered out about homosexuality, fraud. The devil is here. And, uh, you can't see him. So that's uh, we'll, the book of Revelations about the signs. Books of Revelations. Oh, y'all out there who want to be. So we're going to try to do a, a variety, you know, and collaborate a little bit on a little bit. We got our brothers and sisters here, and we're going to talk about it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and uh, see what's the perspective. So, um, first of all, uh, let's pray. Most Heavenly Father God, in the name of Jesus God, we pray that we touch, heal, deliver, forgive us for sin, help us to be. Uh, better men and women in the name of Jesus. Most of all, God want to be making into the Lamb's book of life. Don't want no parts of hell. And God, touch, heal, deliver, touch every family member, touch all of those outside the family, every man, every woman, even enemies in the name of Jesus. Touch us, help us, lead us, and guide us. And even as we have this discussion, let it be for edification that somebody that's listening as well as ourselves speaking, that we be edified from each other, learn from each other, and those that are listening, that they'll be able to get something out of it other than confusion in Jesus' name. Let everybody say amen. All right. All right. So where are we going? Where are we going to start at? I heard, uh, uh, let's start out with, with the book of Revelations and we'll walk right in there since we have a lady in the house. She threw out. Well, I want to ask one question. Yes, sir. How come we got to let everybody say amen? You don't have to let everybody say amen. No, nah, no. Nah, it's a real question but, before we go into But it just means uh, you know everybody be in agreement. In oh. oneness. But knowing that we're dealing with this society where there's a lot of demons, there's uh -huh. a lot of devils coming out here. Uh -huh. Everybody don't want to say that. <coughs> All right, don't say amen then. No, I'm not saying nobody uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. But I'm saying when you, you want to talk to the masses. Right. Well, we want hope. We want hope that the masses, they that they'll out. come into a oneness because that's what it's all about. They come into the, the oneness. Praise the Lord. Um, uh, all right. All so uh, we are... We leaving out uh, our city and state. We're not giving nobody all that information. We're just talking on the issues. Praise the Lord. No we names. We everywhere. Yeah, we everywhere. No names. Praise the Lord. Seeing <laughs> her everywhere. Right. Praise the Lord. All right. So um, where we where we gonna start out off at first? Revelations. Book of Revelations. All right. What was you looking in Revelations? Yeah, you can see me. Where you at? Uh uh. Yeah. Don't, don't worry. But I'm concerned about a lot. A lot of people say that. Uh, was in the book of Revelation has already happened already to the world before us. Okay. I see a lot of signs right now that God. is relevant to the book of Revelation. God. They're happening now. Right. They're happening now. Uh -huh. So should people be more vigilant and people should start to take the Bible, which is the good book, more importantly than Facebook because uh -huh. so many people worry about the drama on Facebook when they should be reading the good book and look at all the signs around them right. the things that's happening. Right, right. Because actually, and what you're saying, that uh, the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. So just like all of us come from a father and mother and go back generation to generation, no matter what color we are, we all go back generation. There's nothing new under the sun. So things that have occurred in Revelation, there probably are some things that have occurred. But remember, there is a point in the book of Revelation where uh, the John was told by the angel to seal up the book and certain things were stopped. Now, let's look at, if we look at, like, um, Revelation chapter 16, where God allows the angels, like seven angels, to go and go forth and pull out wraps on the world. That's the battle of Armageddon. That hasn't happened yet. But it looks like now that they have rainbowed the White House and they have united the nations in homosexuality, that's like Genesis chapter 19, Sodom and Gomorrah. So all of us, no matter what our belief is, like you were saying, if you never believed in God before or you believe in God another way, if you never believed in the Bible before, if you start looking at the Bible, you'll start seeing that what the Bible said is true. It's just like mathematics. It's, it's like if you learn math, math is from the math, well, it don't change. It's the same math. One and one is two, no matter what language you speak. It's the same God. So what happens is I think from coming from different cultures, and different ethnicities, people have a different perspective of God until they get into scriptures. 
And this is why that we need to get into the scripture so we can, like math, get on that one God, like one and one is to God, Jesus, and Holy Spirit. Am I making any sense to everybody? Yeah. But definitely, if we look at Revelations, it's, it's, uh, it's letting us know that some stuff is coming. Yeah, because I see, um, I've been reading it. I've read the book of Revelation several times, and a lot of things happening. Like, you know, started with the, the crash in New York City with um, all the, uh, what am I trying to say, stock market exchange and everything. The money value was not even valued like it used to be. Okay. Uh, people can't even afford their houses. Middle class is starting to go down to the low class. Okay. Like, it's just so many things, different diseases popping up that we never even seen or heard of. Uh, different, you know, you know, you know yeah, what I'm saying? I, I right. think that's part of the plan. Exactly. New World Order. Right, New World Order, which I had that book too. And, and, you know, a lot of people need to start reading and comparing because there's a lot of things in that book that, you know, is relevant to the Bible and things are seriously happening. We had a male pres a black president. And now possibly we might have a woman president. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, more cops killing us now. More cops is killing and it is unjust. Uh, there's more gang violence. Uh, the cradle crime is becoming empty. People killing their kids. People aborting their kids. More violence in the street ever than I've seen before. Gayism is now accepted when it was something that was hidden. You know, now it's it just is even a, they have one. a rainbow flag right it's next to the American flag right now. You understand what I'm saying? The next thing now is going to be um, gay people in office, and you have some in office now. So uh, government the population um, you know, I, you know, I firmly believe, you know, you can love who you want to love, but is it just? Because I know God says that you know, man not this way when you know Right, that's in uh, like Leviticus 18 and uh, 22, and I think uh, 20 and uh, 13, somewhere within those right. uh, frame rhymes. We, and even in Deuteronomy 22 and 5, we're not supposed to be wearing, men don't supposed to wear women's clothes, and women don't supposed to wear men's clothes, none of that transgender and transgression and what they call the cross-dressing. Oh, yeah, everything. Yeah, everything, yeah. right? Yeah, but and they're even teaching our children from young uh, kindergarten that two mommies, two daddies, like it's no difference between mommy and daddy. And we're supposed to be educated. But this lets you know how miseducated we are. And this is what the book of Corinthians is talking about in the first chapter when it says the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Where we think we wise down here, but God is like looking at you. Y'all yo, 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 yo messed up. You're fools. You're fools. And, then, and God saves people by the foolishness of preaching. And you know people that's not getting saved. Oh, I don't want to hear no preaching. I don't want to hear that. But the foolishness of the preaching is what saves people. Because the wisdom that we're learning in this world, it, it's good for the world. It's good for something. Amen. It's good for the world. But it's not going to be good for heaven. Because you got a lot of people that have snuckleheads. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They see us look at the fire and know that fire burns. But then they keep on playing with the fire. Right. Till they get burnt by it, put their hand over it, and they see that they're scalded and ouch. Right. You know what I'm right. Now you know the fire is burning. Right. It's going to take a lot of people to really see. Because I already see the signs of things that's happening around us and it's chilling to me that God's presence is needed. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of people looking at me like I'm the crazy one. Right. I'm going crazy. I'm, you know, right. I'm, because your eyes are opening and, up. And I'm seeing. Right. And I believe. And, you know, just like the other day, I had went. On Facebook and left a message, and I said, you know, okay, Facebook, love everybody, but I had to pull out of Facebook for a while because I found myself reading Facebook more and being into this drama more than I'm reading a good book. Okay. And with all these signs happening around me, I believe I can give more of my time to God than Facebook. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. So I was going to close my page out, but a friend of mine said to me, you know, don't close your page out just yet. Then I happened to see on the news where a man got stuck in waters, phone stopped working. And it was, you know, rivers was overflowing. Well, he happened to turn to Facebook and call out a plea of help for his family members. And he got saved because somebody saw his post. Okay. So I looked at it. That could be my situation. I'll leave it. But like I told him, things ain't going to be the same. I'm not going to be up there cursing. Right. Like you're going, going to try to get into more gospel than gossip. Right. right. And will I still have as many friends on Facebook while I'm going to start spilling out things about God? Right. And then the question, the question will be actually was was they our, our friends in the first place, right. or were we just devils among each other, just keeping each other lost? People should fear God and not before people used to fear God. People did. 
young anymore. I don't understand. I would say black people stop listening to this media. What about all people? Because it's the same thing for all colors. Yeah, that's true. But they just black on black crime, they say it. It's white on white, yeah. Chinese on Chinese. They show a genocide with us to be the boys in the hood. Let's say that. Oh, yeah. well, that's not even, you know. No, I mean, if there's a perspective, yeah, but but I, I, but I, I think they're doing it to everybody. I think they're doing it. They got every clinic around here, and you get more money for getting rid of one than taking care of one and all that. So it's like, it's crazy. Well, you know, everything is the grid. The suburban, every time, one okay. liquor store for every no, 10 blocks. We got two or three liquor stores on one block. It's it's more you know? Around the ghetto yeah, it's blue country. code to red code. We code it. We, that, this is why they, we are a project. You know, That's why we call the project. We're a target. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, I say a target. Come burn. I say a target. No, baby, I'll cut it with you. Yeah, um, it's I think that they, they target to the, panel. the poor. Yes. No matter what yes. color you are, the poor. Mm-hmm. And when you don't have the money, you are going to be targeted. Everyone is targeted, but you're going to feel the target more mm-hmm. when you don't have the finances, yes. you don't have the economical prowess that's set up in the world. And this is what has caused a lot of people to become so wicked trying to get money yes. because they find to them that's the answer. Mm-hmm. God is money in the world. Mm-hmm. So they don't really see God. So when you start talking to them about God and stuff, they'll be like, oh, man, money is God. Materialism is God. I don't want to hear anything about God. But now, the, the key is, though, which we can jump right into it and then That's back up, mean. is that this, is that when um, no matter what you gain in the world, the you, exactly. you, you, you die and leave it all here. Exactly. So if you didn't put no investment into heaven, whether you believe in heaven or not, I'd rather have money in my pocket and don't need it than to need it and don't have it. So I would rather have Jesus and be saved and then come down to the end of the road for people that say, oh, there ain't no Jesus. You're just dying and there's no hell. Okay, I'd rather have Jesus. So if it is Jesus, if it is a heaven and hell, which I mean, I'm believing, I'm saying that's bit philosophical for souls that don't believe. So let's say you're right, then you don't have nothing to lose. But what if you're wrong and you get down the road and God wake you up from from uh, from death and say, okay, it's judgment time. You say, well, well, I didn't do nothing to go to heaven. Well, you stuck now. Mm-hmm. You stuck. And I think some something else that we need to look at, just like when we lay down and go to sleep, right? When we lay down and go to sleep, that's a symbol of death. But right while your body is laying there, you and you dreaming, right? Whether it's a good dream or a bad dream. Yeah, it's like so many right. So you alive, mm-hmm. but you look dead, right? Person think you're sleeping and you might be in torment in your dream, right? You could be in there, ah, oh, help, wake me up, right? <laughs> right? That's the symbol of hell, right? Or you could be having the the the, uh, the party of your life. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's a, a, a no matter how good your dream is while you lay in there, it's like you're dead but you're alive. Your spirit is alive, right? So no matter how good it is, it's still not going to be heaven. Yeah. And no matter how much of a nightmare it is, it's still not going to be hell. But it's a symbol to let us know, I think, to give us a sign. Yeah, when you lay down to die, just like when you lay down to sleep, you're still going to be ticking up. That spirit's still going to be moving. Sleep is just something that, right? Yeah, because there's no doubt when you're going to wake up the next day and that thing's not working. Right. And even if your body is like that, like sleep, then where's your mind? So a person looking at your body in one place, right? But your mind can be way somewhere else. Your spirit, your soul is way somewhere else. So that's a symbol right there of heaven and hell. And I think that we need to start paying that serious. Now, there's three scriptures that come to my mind, and I'm going to throw this out there, and you all tell me how you think. Uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and 2 says the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. Yeah. Another scripture, 2 uh, Peter chapter 3 and 10 says the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. Revelation chapter 16 and 15, if I made no mistake, again, says the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. Unless I want everybody to take a turn and tell me what does that mean to you, that the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. I'll tell you. All right. Even if the Lord's going to never promise you, you'll never know when he's going to come. Okay. I'll tell you. All right. Tell me the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. Yeah, same, same here. I think it is. You don't know, you don't know nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But by the time you figure it out, uh-huh. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> Damn man, it don't have to be. It don't have to be too late. Mm-hmm. I witnessed it. I know what I'm talking about. You know? This ain't just nothing to me. Like, 
He has come upon you as a thief in the night. Yourself, means, brother. means also <laughs> you allowed your house to be broken into is the same analogy. Meaning you allow people to come and do as they please because you thought something that you didn't know. You know what I'm saying? So you understand? Know you let it, you allow it to happen because you didn't know it. But by the time you figured it out, it was too late. You know what I mean? That's symbolic to that same thing. I also believe that. I'll say the same thing you were saying. No, in the beginning. Yeah, What's like. The, what is it? I, I, the Lord is going to come like a thief a in the night. That's a thief in the night. Look, look, man, I can't even turn around. They already know me. Look, look how your brother came and ate that food last night. Mr. C, that's a you ain't know he was going to come. So it's not like you let him in. But right, because yeah, because you're not letting a thief in. Yeah. A thief yeah. is coming unexpected. No. So that's, so that's what he it could also mean like, what I did you not to take back. You know how some people put their stuff on the mountain and put their stuff on pedestals. I don't gave you these riches. Yeah. So yeah. now you think you better well, let me take it back. You can be that thief. My brother does too. Anybody. Your mother. Your father. It can go both ways. Okay. Your sister. You know? Brother. Okay. Now well, I'm going to give you a, uh, well, um, what, you, you got anything you want to share, brother? Not right now. Okay. All right. Let's let's um let's deal with what the scriptures say. The scripture talks about when it's saying that the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. It's saying that just like Sodom and Gomorrah in Genesis chapter 19, when the Lord come, they wasn't ready. Just like in Genesis chapter six, and uh, when it started to rain 40 days and 40 nights, uh, they didn't. They wasn't ready. He told them. But they didn't believe it. They was drinking and merry. And having a good, exactly. They was eating, drinking, and being merry like happy-go-lucky. But how bucket. did they tell them, though? That's my question. Through the word of the prophet. Well, let me say word. this. Let me say this. Mm -hmm. They thought they was using the word of the prophets. Watch this. Don't come in, man. Take your time. They thought they was using the words of the prophets, but they wasn't. Because God had, had, had not had come yet. But then, when he had arrived, they had already done what they had done. But he wanted to clean it up so that what they had done before would not have happened again. Now, if, if you followed me all the way through that wall, Nah, if you if y'all lost you, pull his hat down. Nah, let me tell you what I'm saying. How could you teach something before the teacher has come? Well, How, oh, hold on. The no, you said something when I said what I said. Now let me say it again. Let me reiterate that. How could you teach a lesson when the teacher of that lesson have not even taught you yet. You can. What what is, what is it that you taught? That's like a blind man leading You ain't teach the damn thing. No, right. Blind. But the That's but, all right now hold on. Let the brothers speak. But we talking about in Genesis. All right. The two episodes. The the, 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 the Old Testament. Okay, we'll stop cutting well, off. Jesus is not here yet. Yeah, Jesus yeah, is not going. No, but hold yeah, on. Yeah, I understand. This, Jesus is not here yet in the Old Testament, but back to the Old Testament. Like I got that. All right. All right. So in the Old Testament, Jesus was in God because in the beginning God said, "Let us make man." So Jesus always was there. But we, if you don't know the Scripture, you wouldn't understand that He was there because the Elohim of God is always God, the Father, God, the Son, the Holy Spirit. But now, but let's deal with what we're really talking about. We're dealing with judgment, and you said, how would they know if they didn't know? But Noah knew. God told him to build the ark. He preached 120 some years, or over 120 years. But they wasn't obeying the word, just like people are not obeying the word today. Then even in Genesis. When when the angels came to Abraham and Lot and told them that we're gonna destroy uh, 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 hold on hold on uh, uh, destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, they didn't listen. They weren't listening. All of them were homosexual. Mm -hmm. And when the angels came, they thought the angels were regular men, which let us know today that God can send angels into the world and you wouldn't even know because they are disguised as human beings. Mm -hmm. 
All right, go ahead, brother. Okay, Noah knew, you said? Noah Noah knew. knew. That's right. what you said to me. Right. The captain of the boat. Right, he told him to build the ark. And now, therefore, okay. he was telling him what he going to build. But Noah knew. Right. You said Noah knew. He knew. Did you said more like to that? If Noah uh, had had known. Get a little warm in the church, too. Get a little warm in the church? Get a little warm in the church. <laughs> Right. Use other one. Turn other one. I don't need a racist. Damn, I'm on the keypad. No, no. Let me do that. Let me do that. Take your ties out. Your What's your name again? Take the heat off. <laughs> What's your name again, sir? What's your name again? D just go ahead and talk. What? Go ahead. Just uh, go ahead, sir. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I'm asking for names, sir. Let's see what. Oh, that's good. The first blue button. Oh, you want it on? The first blue button. On, on the left. All the way to your left. Yeah, yeah. After the black one. Okay. Boom. Okay. When you get too cold, Dude, hit the uh, black one. Okay, yes. Do people still have time to be forgiven for this? Thing, or is it too late? No, right now they have. you have time. Right now, in fact, this is what we're talking about. If the Lord is going to come. Cut me off now. I was, I was on the point. All right, we're going to come back. We're so gonna, stable. What was the point? Oh, well, just, but it don't take long to answer the question. It don't take long to answer the question. The question is, is it too late to repent? No, we're living. We have the chance to repent. So right now, this is why we took. We, I just do, that's why I just in there. On that. That's why I threw in there that, that the Lord is gonna come like a thief in the night. And see, no, would it, would no, would no, we? No. I think we would be more sincere if we really started feeling that the Lord is gonna come. You feel what I'm saying? See, if we put it away in our mind, oh, the Lord's not gonna come, because that's what some people say. Oh, I've been hearing that a long time. But look how many people that are each one of our ages and younger and better health and dead. Yes. Amen? Amen. See, that's what we need to pay attention to. Because we look at we're living and others are living, but look at how many people are truly alive. Dead. Truly alive. Well, I'm scared. Just looking at all the news at home. I know he's on his way. All these floods happening, hmm. heat waves, all these murders. Wait, look at all the earthquakes that take all the corners of the earth. It, it, the people that get beheaded by Muslims. They That's Revelation 20 and 4. It says, and they will be headed for the witness of Christ. What religion is doing? That's the Antichrist religion. They are against Christ, even though they say they for Christ. See, I can sound for Christ, but if I'm going against his word, guess what? I'm anti-Christ. I could say I love my girl, but if I'm doing wrong to my girl, I'm anti my girl. You know what I'm saying? I, same with a, a man, a woman with a guy. Y'all listening to me, brother? I am because I'm confused about Muslims. They say they believe in God, but you're beheaded people who also believe in God. Remember, there's other, it's only one God, and, and he's coming to us with, with one book, and what their book is, the Quran, is telling them that they're supposed to correct the, the a Bible. But the bottom line is, they are against Christ, so how can they be correcting the Bible? In fact, in the Surah chapter 3, verse 54, it says that Allah is the greatest of deceiver. Somebody tell me what the word deceiver means. Deceiver means to manipulate and coerce and confuse, like to, to trick somebody. And which is a what? A lie. A lie, exactly. Let me ask you one question. So hold on one second. So that means the Allah of the Quran is the devil. Which is against the God, which they say they're supposed to be the same God. Some people try to intertwine. But how can if one, Surah 112, verse 3 said, God doesn't have a son. He does not begotten, nor is he begotten. But J Jesus said in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So there's a contradiction there. Uh, uh, the Quran teaches there is no son. It don't even call the Muslim sons. Do you do you understand what I'm saying? It's okay. It, it, because this is live. It, it don't it let people know we do things live and direct here. It's okay. But I, and I'm glad for y'all here. Glad for y'all to let, let me in your home and talk about the Lord. But what you were just saying now, and, and it's infiltrating because they're pushing Christ out. And a whole lot of people are coming to Islam. They're coming. They're blinded by peace. They don't know nothing about the Arab countries where they raise the hate the United States. You understand what I'm saying? But they use the abrogated scriptures of peace. And so since people are looking for answer, they say, oh, I was taught Christianity. Christianity didn't teach us nothing. And people of color are saying, well, Christianity is the white man's God, and they taught us to, to love them, and da-da-da-da-da, and then some of the white folks don't like God. So you got Lucifer, you got all types of stuff. But people don't like Christ. But if they really got in the scripture, what in the scripture tells us to do anything wrong? It tells us to love our neighbors. Okay, well, my thing is like this. Like, I was raised 
of your church. All right? Okay, see, I see a lot of the young people now. These Muslims across seas are going to, like, Facebook because a lot of people are on it. Reaching to these young viewers and getting some of them to come over and convert. A couple of our American kids successfully made it over the border and they're converted. And some are in jail for trying to do the, the Arabic work. Like you said, they're thirsty for knowledge. They're looking for an answer. And they use People them. People are scared. Right. And like me, I can speak for myself. I don't want to go to heaven. I want to meet God. But then I found myself getting confused at some point to say, which religion is right by God? Who is true to God? And I don't want to serve the wrong master because then what if I'm on the other end of the sick and then when God talks, I don't make it out of the side because I'm confused and I join the wrong side. I got you. You understand what I'm saying? Right. People scared and don't know which way to turn or who to right. tell the truth. So now this is what I would say. I was going to say pray in the name of Jesus, but if I say pray in the name of Jesus, then I've given you a choice of coming to the one I chose, right? right. So what I would do is say, pray God, I don't know your name. Right. I heard about Jesus. I heard of about Allah. I heard about Buddha. I heard about this, that, and the other. I want to know. Open, lead me and guide me to the truth. So I can serve you. Because you said the key word. You don't want to go to hell. I can tell you that the answer is Jesus, but that don't mean you know it. Just like somebody else could come along and tell you that it's Allah, or it's Clarence 13, or it's Buddha, or it's Hinduism. But so I would pray, God, whatever your name is, I'm praying, I'm talking, I'm going to ask you, God, to help me to understand you because I don't want to be lost. All right, let me explain Does that make sense? Let me explain to you that. Let you explain tell what you to me. Who Allah is to me. Oh, to you. Who God is to me. Okay. Who Allah, who is God to me, is to me. Uh huh. Because. Are you, when you say God to you. Is God. But when you say to you. Uh, I'm going to show you. Are you going to come with some, some, some proof that was here before you? you or are you just going to say in your I'm own mind? I'm going to show you everything. Just listen. Allah is not a person like Clarence X, 13, X, whatever. They say, Allah is not you or me. Allah is not an individual. Allah is a body. Allah is a body of people as God is. But to take the, to take the, I'm not saying. Possession away from the enemy. The definition of a law has been redirected into what it really is. Because a law has been only known to be, listen, a law has only been known to be the enemy to those who worship what they see as the true God. But how could you worship a body? Don't question me. Yes. You said Allah is a body. Don't question me yet. So I'm done. But since you had already yes. Explain now that. talk. Please. You said Allah, you going by arm, leg, leg, arm, head. Allah is Who is, is doing body. that? That's what I thought that. of when you when you yes. said it. But, but wait a minute. Who would rely wait, on anything that you guys would ever have to say if you Jump to the conclusion of what I was saying. I was saying what I said. I didn't say arm, leg, leg, arm, man. Yeah, well, that's the first thing that came to my mind when you said Allah is the body. Arm, leg, leg, arm, head. When I say body, see, see, if you have read your Bible, see, let me show you something. Since everybody believes in God, if you read your Bible, you would know. That the arm, leg, leg, arm, head that I speak about is not a person as one man, but a many as a body. But most of us have been illiterate as black people because what we've been going through. As, as a who? No, 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 no racism because it's because men are men. Uh, and, and and every every black man, every white I man is, don't that, think brother. the same thing. I, I appreciate this, brother, because even better... The whole freaking world, the whole freaking world is stupid because they don't realize, not just black people, the whole world. And when I say black, and when I say black, I don't even mean just brown people. 
It depends on if there's somebody in the White House that believes in Jesus, which the president did say he believed in Jesus, whether he whether he represents it or not. But I'm hearing what you're saying. But now, so the perspective that we need to be, if you say that Allah is a body, what foundation of truth are you coming from? Oh, the body. The body. Excuse me, sir. Don't you back he forgot. He, for, he forgot what he said. I had to bring him back. I had to bring him back. I had to bring his mind back. He forgot. He forgot. He forgot. Hey, Paulie, you forgot. No, no, no. Let me tell you, the body is not an individual person. That you would think he says he'll sit there. I'm God Almighty. Oh, get up by That's not God. God is a people. Who are the people? We got the devil saying we the people of the United States in order to form a more perfect union and establish justice, and domestic tranquility, etc. What is that? That's the preamble. That's a freaking preamble. But that's the people represent one thing. They stole the actual attribute and identity and you know what I'm saying? Of God himself, who is a people, Christ, if you want to say, the body of Christ, the resurrection, the people who come. Even because when Christ died, if you even believe the story that Christ died, right, the resurrection shows and proves, right, in the Bible. The yeah. resurrection was the people that he taught prior to his death. They came together. They came together. This is for the elite mind. They came together, and they realized that each individual, as we come together, whatever we come up with, but we remember from this individual teaching, we become the body of him whom which that is not here physically, but is here physically, because we're here. And he told us. That made many now. Now here's the many. From one. It came from one. But it became many into one body. Now anybody who know and understand that one little lesson, I never teach it again. Forget about it. But, bro, if understand. I should go anywhere else with this, another time, or maybe I'll give it no, to you. No, I'm just but trying to understand why I'm going to believe in God, but no. yet they're behind the Christians. But if you're telling that. me Allah is a body, so they're worshiping a body? Bro. So then they can't become. Only reason why we God. say arm, leg, leg, arm, head, let me break it down for you. Let me break it down for you. Let me break it down for you. Only reason why we say arm, leg, leg, arm, head is because in the book it says we are the arm, the head, the arm, the legs. People say we stole knowledge. However, we capitalize to make it knowledge recognize what some might be saying make knowledge formal, make knowledge recognize in a true way. People who don't understand might come about the knowledge the wrong way and it's teaching. But then you got to come across somebody who is a, a eligible teacher who could teach it and understand it from so all directions and all directions without offending anybody who is God. The author of confusion is the devil. So who is God? There is no confusion and nothing that I could say. Because I'm covering your end, your end, his end, his end. Making you see that it all could come to an end. It could come to an end. But you don't know that and you don't see that. It's so funny. So always it be confusion. It's so funny. Because you're dealing with the all of us. You're like, I don't believe in God. And then when they have the I'm still too deep for you to see. Oh, God, help me, please. I don't believe in God. Whoever this brother is right here. All right, this is what I'm going to say. This is what I'm going to throw in there. 
Why is the what? police killing us? Yeah. Right, well, hold on. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Just hold on. say, right y'all can't kill us. We, 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 kill jump, us. we jump in the oh, gun. We're going to come on that next. Who but, said you could be but this is what's happening. If you have, yeah. if you have oh, God, yeah. I think that when you look at statistics yeah. as you study, you go back to the yeah. oldest of time, right? Yeah. Islam started 800 yeah. years after Christianity, right. okay? So that book does not predate the Bible. Anything that's not predate has to be plagiarism or either come up with it's something new. Mocked. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So what is happening is that like the new generation of children that don't respect their parents and grandparents, this is what, what Islam is. Like Judaism is the grandparents, Christianity is the parents, and, and Islam is the children. And the children are like, we're smarter than you. Because yeah. we living in a modern age, we don't have to listen to you. Exactly. But they're lost right. because yeah. without the foundation of that which is before you and paying attention to it, you, all your knowledge is nothing. You feel right. what I'm saying? And the, and the Allah of the Quran, regardless of Allah of something of, of another persuasion, is supposed to be God in the Quran. That's why the children, the children of the Christians is the five percent because. They need to make knowledge born in a whole other way because these people have misunderstood what you were trying to strive to do, striving to do. However, we get misconstrued for recovery. However, we understand, not all. Just like you got food when you're dealing with a game, you got cats that don't understand. You might talk to them, you might hear them, they don't understand what's going on. He doesn't really come through as what you might consider as a 5% or whatever. It ain't no 5%. That's a name that was given or whatever, whatever, however. You're not really coming like that. You're coming as who you are. Or not who you perceive to be. Same thing for, that, for what they appear to be has gotten us where we are today. Not seeing things for what it is. Seeing what it appears to be. That's like seeing um, a shadow without seeing a person. You think you about to get killed because the person about to stab a chicken roast on the stove, but you see the shadow with the knife going up and down, getting ready to stab and say, oh my God, and you put out <laughs> the gun and shoot the person. You know what I'm trying not to do? Because you think I'm trying not to stab I'm you trying not, even see him. I'm trying not to look at y'all drinking with the cups because I don't know. If, I don't know if my mind is we saying that it ain't. Know, it ain't which one yeah, which one is talking? Is your mind talking so or you is the drink understand talking? What I, just said? I heard what, what you said, said but I'm gonna jump over this real quick. The brother asked, "Why are the police beating up more people?" And I'm gonna say this: It's wrong, more but African people. right. But I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna tell you what I think. Because if you go into people people of color's neighborhood, yeah. listen, just listen to what I'm going to say, and let's yeah. be honest. If you go into people of yeah. color's neighborhood, right, yeah. especially in the ghetto, if you happen to ever travel in the ghetto, right, they're disrespectful towards their parents. Sometimes there's a nuclear family minus one, absence of fathers, right, or or, or deadbeat dads. I'm not saying y'all y'all brothers, right, but but you know it. It's there. Mothers are like the leaders, and the, and the women without no man superior, they have to depend on others. But watch the children. The children have become very disrespectful. And if you don't respect your father, you're not going to respect nobody in authority because they're not really respecting their mothers. They're using their mothers because they need what they have from their mothers a lot of times. We're not saying all, but many. So when we get into police brutality, anytime you got a, a race of people, no matter what color their race is, but when they already have it in them from the time that they're young, we don't respect authority. We don't respect the police. Why should we? Listen, Why listen, should listen, we? listen to my point. Why should I'm going to answer that do after you we do it. You say, are you, I'm dealing with the first question. So if you don't respect, you're not going to respect police officers. So then when they knock hell out you, you understand what I'm saying? You'll respect that. That doesn't make, like, right, like, make it right. No. It, it, it doesn't make right for nobody to disrespect. No. This is what I'm saying. So if you have a group of people, if you respectfully, come on. I'm not, I don't have to run from the police. Do you understand what I'm saying? But I'm not an outlaw. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? See, I recognize even with God and the devil, you either going to be on the right side or you're going to be on the wrong side. You can't be on both sides. Somewhere along the line, you have to mature. But what is the right Let, side? You, don't, don't interrupt me. <laughs> Let, don't interrupt me. Uh, well, the, right well if you don't know the difference, it ain't the cop. listen. If you don't know, it ain't the, the cop. listen. If you don't, uh, if you don't know the difference between right and wrong, then you the confused. Cop. So even, so even if, the cop. listen, you know, listen. If a person that right have cop. a problem with the police from uh, from the door, like some people are raised that way, they have a problem with the police because they're criminals. No, so if you raise, so if want. you raise with a criminal mentality, you grow up with a criminal mind nah. mentality. Nah. It, 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 hood only stands for short for neighborhood. Nah. It depends nah. on what That's neighborhood you're in. Nah. And whatever neighborhood. Like, everybody don't think respect, that way, though. But man. everybody don't think that way. So when you go out there and get your ass whooped, excuse me, but that's what that then that because because if I was a cop, nah, if I was a cop, I'm not going to I'm not going to take I'm not going to take no chance with nobody that don't cop. disrespect you. Do you understand cop. what I'm saying? And we need law enforcement because look at all these criminals that's around here taking over communities. That's what they want. They brainwash you from the door. I'm gonna show you the devil. So in you can stop. Let me him, stop man. interrupting me. I'm gonna show you the devil in human form. The devil in human form is any man. Any man. Not no. A if you cop. Say, uh, hold it. Well, how? All right. You say a cop. You, you say a cop. You, you say a cop. But are there other devils that's not in uniform? A cop is the worst. All right then. I know a cop is not the worst one because he they really is really a, or, a really a organized I'm organized. A there's an organized. Group. Well, I think I don't care what y'all saying. I thank God for the police officers. I don't have to run from the police, no. so I don't have no problem. Why? But, but, but because this, you ain't doing nothing. That, exactly. So don't you oh, do man. anything. Right, so don't you do anything. Well, you still got to run, run. Right? No, I don't have to run from a, you know, you know what I have to run from? I have to run from a racist cop. I have to run from a criminal. Even if they racist. See, you can learn how to deal with a racist black man, a racist white man. But if you if you a criminal element yourself, then you you already have a problem with in law enforcement. I agree. You know what I mean? I Just like parents, all parents. If we was raised to respect parents, I don't care what color you are, then know. your parents should be like police officers. You know what I'm saying? Not just your mother, but every mother. Not just your father, but every father. And if we were taught to, and, and really respected our fathers and mothers and the community mothers and fathers, we shouldn't have no problem with the police officers. Because we know when the police are, are there or whether they're there, don't do certain things. Yeah. But if you raise from the time you little, I hate cops, or you around people, I hate cops, because you're doing yeah, something that you don't have no business doing. They are not there to protect and serve the A lot of them do. To harass and lock up. No, I, I disagree with that. I, I'm sorry, I disagree with that. Nobody, I'm sorry, I disagree with that. I'm sorry, I disagree with that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go along with it because I've been around too many of people that have robbed and steal, and I thank God for the police. Who gonna lock up the police when they do something wrong? Well, that's what they have the DEA for. That's what they have the Internal Affairs. I mean, I mean, the Internal Affairs. Hey, hey, hey. You know what the sad part about this conversation no is that I'm looking at? If you guys really have that in your mind, then what are you doing? I'm not, I'm not asking this rhetorical. Are you going to police the, 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 the community? We killing them. Uh, no, we ain't doing none of that. Oh, no we we he just, he just said we killing them. Right. We hanging out. We ain't doing nothing. I ain't saying who I'm No wonder he hates the police. Look, <laughs> the killing we ain't the doing nothing. Nobody. 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 No. Huh? Any man who hates his brother. Are they murder. harassing you? Yeah. Yes. But where? Brother. And, and where I live at. Brother. <laughs> it's a reason. The my, my, my no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. If if if, if they harass you in your community, it's probably because I've been in description twice of someone else. Yes. All you have to do is carry yourself a certain way. Say, sir, okay. sir, okay. it's not me. I hey, hold on, you, hold on. Let me ask you a question. We do you carry? Right. Hold on a minute, man. Do you carry? ID, yes. Do you carry your ID, yes. sir, officer? Yes. Here's my ID. Yes. I don't know who did and what. I talked to him after he did it, and I let him know, like I'm older than you. Oh, no, you talk, well, if you talk to him like that. Everybody no, that cigarettes, they choked him to death and killed him. Yeah. But the boy who walked up in the church dead. who shot nine black people, they just calmed down and turned and raped him like he was a civilian. They didn't choke all of them. They 
So they're not respecting right now. I'm not saying the youngest like the old. I'm not saying that racism doesn't. The police don't get no love. Well, I see a lot. I see a lot of no love. I see a lot of confusion here. Now I don't know some cops are good cops, but you got. It wasn't never a good cop. No, it wasn't never. Who Romo cop? It's some good no. and all right. So all this is is a lot of confusion here. A lot of confusion. No, but I'm if good. you don't respect I authority. If you don't respect authority, it's gone. It's over. Well, it's over, nigga. I respect them. <laughs> no, hey, that's what they learn. Authority allowed everybody to be a gay nigga today. Authority did that. No, listen, check, no, check me out. Hold on, on here, sister. Who is the author of authority? The president controls. Listen to me. This is me. Today. The president controls the authority. If you a man of God, he really don't. I, you hate this life because what it has become. You seen it before it came to that. You understand? Know hold on, hold on. But however, what could you do? But you watch it. But then you see, it's watching it is making you equipped for what you need to do on your time. However, what has happened was not no signs that God is the ruler. The devil is the ruler. If you understand the devil to be the evil one, the manipulator, the one that shows you. The, the mirage. Okay. This is what has happened. All of those who thought they knew something, knew nothing yet, as they ought to have known, it's being declared this day. It's being declared. I'm a never go against what I'm saying. I don't care who you is, what you do. I know what I'm saying. Even if you, whatever you is, you be the highest of whoever they call you the highest. I know on the news they said Obama was mocking the Christian. Obama ain't nothing. Listen. They said he, 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 it's like he referred he to was the point. but was making jokes of our life. Listen, he ran down the street with the gay flag. Hey. Understand me? Yeah, he, he, did, he, did. he doesn't get discussed at this time. It's not a problem. You know what he deal with. Okay, but he is the man running our country. What you right realize now, now is that, right now. that is hold on. Now. Well, well, what you realize and now is that the man that you voted for, yeah, voted that for. we told you about prior to you making But he was going to be president whether you voted for him exactly. or not. Right. But you still voted for him, making him and you say, look, you got a new it. world war. No, let me tell you, no, shut up, everybody. Be quiet, be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Look, God told the devil, God told the devil, God told the devil, we know this. You can take whoever you want, but you can't take them against their free will. You understand what I'm saying? But if you don't know that, you can't, nobody can't talk. So then what happened to us? Oh, you guys sit down What happened to us? 40 years ago, we were taking against our free freedom. You told me that God. Well, I, I, don't think, I don't think that it's fair for people of color to keep on using that. I'm sorry. I don't think yes. people of color. Hold on. I'm saying. Because, 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 because most. I'm listening to everybody. Yeah, but, but y'all don't know nothing about that. No. Y'all ate not. good. Y'all wore $100 sneakers and clothes. Y'all ain't go through that. That's, that's, that's a cop-out. Yeah. It's just that's a cop-out. History, but I, I, don't, I don't use basic right. for anything that's going on now. Right. So, I don't like when people use it. Oh, well, we're slaves. I don't right. Because, because everybody's a slave that don't have no money. Time. 
You understand what I'm saying? Right. Now, that's not to negate the fact that there's racism. You have blacks that hate blacks. You have blacks that hate whites. You have whites that hate whites and whites that hate blacks. But we're the only race everybody hates. So if you are the original people, you, if you are the original people, the question is to ask, how did you get in that position? So that means you failed somewhere. Your ancestors failed. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because if you at the top, watch this. Watch what I'm going to show you. If you're the champion, if you at the top, right? Listen, listen, because it's a cop-out. And I want you to see the cop-out. If you at the top and you are the boss, right? Somehow that means you lost your your falsehood. Do you understand what I'm saying? You lost your company. They knew black be the boss. They knew it. No, listen. If you are, listen to what you just said, which is contradictory. If you are the original man, if you were the original man, right? If you were the original man, that means you you lost your originality and you got weak. Huh? No, if you was the if you was the top one, somehow you weakened down. I'm gonna show you what the Bible shows. The Bible shows people didn't obey God. Let's say you Pharaoh, right? In Egypt, Pharaoh, right? You going against God. And that would explain it. So if you fight against God and you have your own type of gods and you rebellious and you want to do what you want to do, God is going to let you do what you want to do, but the devil is going to come in through another human form. Do you understand what I'm saying? And he's going to subdue you. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I see what's happening right now. Hold it. Just like now, if you say that the Caucasian man, right, if you say that he's the enemy, then why you spend your money on his stuff? Why do you get your... I'm just I using an example. Me now. You do you see what I'm saying? No, I, no, no more. Well, I do, though. But you understand what I'm saying? So we got we to gotta throw, throw, we gotta throw everything away. White man, black man got to throw poisons away and get closer to God. Praise the Lord. I'm getting ready. All right, y'all got you. You jokers got about two more minutes, and I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna say this. Okay, man. you have two minutes. I'm gonna say this, man. As, as, as whatever everybody thinking about right now, mm -hmm. if you don't look at what you got in front of you and love your brother as you see him inside you, uh -huh. you ain't never gonna see whatever you looking for as God. You ain't never gonna see it. Mm -hmm. But you never gonna experience love. God is love. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to love God if you can't love your brother? That's a commandment too. Okay. So I have nobody ever, ever put it. You still got to acknowledge your brother. Even that which was not born from your mother. You got to love your brother because that's what God is. That's, the, that's, the, that's how God recognized himself. You got he seconds. said, you might deny me. But I cannot deny myself. All right. And from there, I'm going to say peace. All right. You have two seconds, two, two, two minutes. Well, now, peace to the black family and the black nation and everything else. All right. Praise the Lord. All right. I'm going to wrap this up. The sister had to step out for a minute. Amen. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have a good uh, uh, conversation, black and white. And we tried to keep it not being racist, although it almost could have been. But it's not. But as the brother was saying, and this is what the Bible says, in 1 John, God is love. That's in 1 John 4 and 8. I mean, 4, yeah, 4 and 8. And in St. John chapter 4, verse 24, God is spirit. So he said, how can you love your brother, which is asked in 1 John, how can you love God whom you never see and hate your brother who you see every day? And I'm going to say you can't love God. And like Jesus said in Matthew 11, chapter 28, uh, and chapter 11, verse 27, 28, Jesus said, no man knows, let me close this up, in the book of Matthew, the 11th chapter, in about the 27th and 28th verse, it's, Jesus said, don't, none of you don't even know me. You don't even know the Father. He said, no one knows the Son except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son, and to whom the Son will reveal the Father to. So what are you saying? What I'm saying is God has to draw you because God is too high up. You didn't learn mathematics on your own. You didn't learn science on your own. 
You didn't learn any type of educational prowess on your own. You were little boys and little girls. Somebody older and smarter had to grab you and teach you. You didn't learn how to eat on your own. You didn't learn how to drink, walk, or do anything. Everything that's in you is a compilation of other people around you. Knowledge of yourself is to come to grips with everything that you've ever learned and learn how to make right decisions from everything that's on the inside. God comes through humanity. Evil comes through humanity. Good and evil come through humanity. Good is the visible of the invisible God. Evil is the visible of the invisible devil. Now you need to hear God. You need to hear good in order for you to walk into the love of God and then feed the good that's on the inside of you. Because if whatever you feed on the inside of you, that's what's going to make you strong. If you go to the gym, if you work on your triceps, your biceps, they're going to get bigger. If you work on your chest, it's going to get bigger. Whatever part you work on, that's what's going to get bigger. And so if you work on evil, the devil in you is going to get bigger. Lord, somebody say amen. Amen. If you work on the good that's on the inside of you, pray the Lord, then the God in you is going to get bigger. God is calling us no matter what color you are, no matter what gender you are, no matter what your economical status and your geographical location, you need to call on the name of Jesus. That's my way. If it's not your way, like I told the sister, you better call on God. You better call God and say, God, I don't know what your name is. Maybe your name is not Jesus to me. Maybe your name is not Allah, maybe it's not Buddha, or whatever the name may be. But God, I want to know, like the young lady said, I don't want to go to hell, but I want to make it to heaven. And she said that I'm thinking about it, and I'm thinking about it. I've come to the conclusion that Jesus is the answer. My brothers and my sister, if Jesus is not the answer for you, I don't know what your answer is. That's my answer. But I'm telling you from my perspective that Jesus is the answer. But I tell you today, right now, in the sound of my voice, call on God. Don't call him by no name. Just say God. Just say master. Just say father. Help me. Lead me. Guide me. Touch me. And help me come out of the dark into the light. This we pray. We're going to pray for you. Pray for your families right now. Pray that God brings you out of the dark. Every white man, every black man, and everything that goes with it, because everything comes from man. Praise the Lord. Most Heavenly Father God, in the name of Jesus, pray that you touch, heal, and deliver. Move by your power. Move by your grace. In the name of Jesus, bind the devil that comes to rob, that comes to kill and steal and destroy. Amen. Forgive us for sin. Please help me, God. Save me. Forgive me. And then save my family. Then others that are here. Save us all. Every man, every woman, even my enemy. As the brother said, God, how can we love our enemy? How can we love you? We never saw you until we, some of us have revealed revelation from you. Help us to love. Help us to show that love and help us to bring brothers and sisters that are weakened in us. Amen. Help us to make them strong as we make ourselves stronger than you. This I pray in Jesus' name. Anybody can say amen.